God wants to free us from our burdens. You know, whatever our burdens might be. Typically, it's sin. And we see this in the Old Testament and the New Testament. And then the Old Testament, every 50 years, slaves were freed and property went back to its original owner. And then in the church today, we have jubilee years in the spirit of jubilee where all the temporal punishment for our sins is forgiven because God wants to free us from our burdens. Okay? And so that's sort of the theme of today's readings. So if we go back to that reading from Leviticus and the time in Israel, Israel is divided up into 12 regions. So you could imagine a very tiny country with 12 states, okay? And each one of those states was named after one of Jacob's sons. So uh, Naphtali, Asher, Dan, uh, Zebulon, uh, Benjamin, Joseph, or Ephraim. And so all those were the, the states in Israel. And so each of those regions was then further divided by tribe into families, okay? And so each family owned a certain amount of land. And that family could lease their land out and so they could have tenants come and farm it. So if they were having a bad time or a hard time or they had a, a house in Jerusalem and they want somebody else to farm the land, they would lease it out. And then they could also sell themselves into slavery to pay for a debt. Okay, so maybe there's whatever it might be, they sold their slave their self into slavery for a debt that was owed. But on the Jubilee year, every 50 years, they would be freed. All slaves were freed. All land returned to its original family of ownership per whatever tribe they were in. And so God freed them from the burdens that they had, okay? And uh, so uh, it's like uh, they're, they're set free, just like we are set free when we go to confession for, for burdens. Now, the big burden we have is our sins. And um, Jesus frees us from the burdens of our sins. There's a temptation to think that if we sin, we free ourselves from the burden of the law, the law of Moses, the law that Jesus has given us to, to uh, so that we're free from that burden, which is false thinking because sin usually re leads to greater sin. And we see that in today's gospel. So uh, Herod uh, was called out by John the Baptist for his adultery, ticks Herod off, and so he puts John in prison. Okay? And then that sin leads to Herod killing John because Herod was a slave to this oath that he made uh, to the people then. And so, uh, Again, our, our slavery, our burdens are to sin, and Jesus frees us from that burden of sin. Now, the church has jubilee years too, and it's usually like every 25 years there's a jubilee year and, uh, where we can be given, forgiven the uh, temporal punishment due to our sins. Confession forgives our sins, but we still have that temporal punishment that, that we have to pay. And uh, so 2000, the year 2000, there was a jubilee year. And so there, at, at uh, St. Peter's in the Vatican, there's this giant door. It's maybe 20 feet tall and 15 feet wide. It's huge, a giant bronze door, only opened on jubilee years. And people that pass through that door are forgiven the temporal punishment due to their sins. They're given a plenary indulgence. And it says, under the usual conditions, and the usual conditions are you have to go to a confession within 20 days before or 20 days after, so about a three-week period on either end of uh, going through the door. You have to receive Eucharist. You have to pray for the Holy Father, which is usually an Our Father and a Hail Mary. And you have to have the desire to distance yourself from sin, okay? desire to leave sin behind. Okay? And so... Uh, in 2015, they had what they call an extraordinary holy, holy year, a jubilee year. So uh, Pope Francis extended that not only just in, in uh, Rome at the uh, uh, Vatican, 
but to every cathedral. So every cathedral, even ours in Biloxi, had a holy door, not the main door, but it's one on the, I think it's one on the left as you're facing the church. If you go through that, that was the holy door, and you had the same uh, forgiveness of, uh, you know, temporal punishment due to sin under those same, same conditions. And the next uh, jubilee year uh, is going to be in 2025, so not that far away. So we'll see what uh, Pope Francis does with that one. And so God wants to relieve us of our burdens. And passing through holy doors reminds us of this, you know, infinite mercy that God has for us and his incredible desire uh, to have relationship with us, to be with us. And uh, so um, remember that God wants to free us from our burdens, especially the burden of sin.